Today's Cowboys Report is sponsored by Rex MD. If you had a few too many to drink and maybe you're not quite having the confidence you want in the bedroom, Rex MD is here to help. The number one trusted leader in men's telehealth, offering you 90% off up to it at rexmd.com slash chat. Say more about them later on in today's show. We're focused on four different trade ideas and packages put together from inside the Star and Bleach Report. I'll give them credit for putting together real concrete packages, minus the Bleacher Report one. Before we get to the four, I want to hear from you guys. Put your trade ideas, goal is to be realistic here, in the comment section. Head down there. If you have multiple, go for it. If you super thanks it, we'll get you on the show, on, on a mailbag. So get your trade ideas in the comment section right now. Here's a tease of the four coming up. Number one, you trade for a Bengals wide receiver. You acquire a star cornerback. Fatty's only lives on with trade number three. And then make sure you watch to number four because I'm going to roast it pretty hard. Let's go to number one. Bengals give up Tyler Boyd, a rare player for player and player trade package. Tyler Boyd chipped out for Neville Gallimore and Jordan Lewis. So third round picks across the board here getting traded. Let's focus in on what the Cowboys boys acquire that is Tyler Boyd a strong slot receiver who's had very good production over his time in the NFL is due just under nine million dollars if you're looking for an impact wide receiver Boyd does help fill that category he would have easily been the second best wide receiver on the Cowboys this past season meanwhile Neville Gallimore is not the best production player of late. I was very excited about him coming out of Oklahoma, but he's never taken that next step forward, that breakout year at this stage. Now, Jordan Lewis, meanwhile, coming off an unfortunate injury, I think that's going to drive down his trade value, a prime cut candidate as well. You're kind of taking two of your backup defensive players for a starting wide receiver. In general, that makes sense. There are problems here, and there are some issues on both sides, if we're being honest. So sound off for me. Would you do this trade? Why for yes, you would, and for no, you would not. If an ad break comes, go vote in the comment section. So there are issues here. On the Bengals' side, for starters, um, Neville Gallimore is a backup defensive tackle. Okay, Drummond is, is a slot corner. The Bengals have a great slot, a better slot in Mike Hilton. So, yes, they need a corner, but they don't need a particular nickel corner. So, that's a problem there for the Cowboys, meanwhile. Tyler Boyd's a slot receiver. If you want to continue correctly utilizing CeeDee Lamb heavily in the slot, Boyd might not be a fantastic fit there. The money is also probably an issue for both sides. Uh, Bengals taking on a Similar-ish amount of money. It's They save like a million bucks and when it's all said and done, or in that range of it, which doesn't really benefit them as they have big contracts come up themselves. And to the, ba- to the Cowboys want to pay almost $9 million for a slot receiver. They weren't going to do it for Cole Beasley, Randall Cobb. Not sure they would now for Tyler Boyd, unfortunately. It, it's a good package, but I think both sides in the end end up saying no. Now, if you guys sometimes lack some confidence in the bedroom, I think everyone's had those nights where you get a little nervous or maybe more likely you had a little bit too much to drink. There's nothing worse than not being able to put the stick shift in drive when you need it the most. Have no fear, though. RexMD is here spreading cheer even when you've had a few too many beers. RexMD is FDA approved and the most trusted leader in men's telehealth. They have sponsored today's Cowboys Report to help you always be prepared. RexMD has made it simple, easy, and cost-effective to help all the men out there last longer and feel more confident in the bedroom. RexMD makes getting generic and branded Viagra or Cialis easy. Everything's online, even the prescription, and they deliver it discreetly to your door. No more waiting rooms, no embarrassing trips to the doctor, and no insurance or co-pays needed. Take advantage of their best deal they've ever offered and get up to 90% off and only pay two dollars per dosage with our exclusive link it's rexmd.com slash chat it's a limited time deal starter packs of generic or branded viagra or cialis are now available to get started that's rexmd.com slash up to 90 percent off links in the comments and in the description 
and this one will get people excited. The Cowboys get Stephon Gilmore from the Indianapolis Colts. The Colts, meanwhile, get Matt Farniak, the backup offensive guard slash center, a fifth-round pick this year, and a conditional 2024 fourth-round pick. Gilmore would be a fun addition for the Dallas Cowboys. That would be a significant add for Dallas, help solidify your very clear need at the corner number two spot. You know, Deron Bland would then play more nickel for you. Israel Mukwamu gets some reps at safety. It's more entertaining and a better roster grouping overall corner. Gilmore is not what he once was, but he's still better than what every other option the Cowboys until they actually found something in the final two games with Deron Bland and Israel Mukwamu. My concern here is you're shipping off a backup offensive lineman and two day three selections for a starting corner. I don't know, even though Stephon Gilmer is not the guy, the defensive player of the year guy he was in his prime in New England, I don't know if that's enough to acquire Stephon Gilmer. If it is, let's ride. It's do like nine, 10 million, somewhere in that range. I'm happy to make that happen. I just don't think it's going to be enough. I think you have to offer more than a backup guard and a couple day three three picks. Now, the NFL Combine is this upcoming week, and we will have coverage for you, me and producer Sam, from the NFL Combine. I'll keep you in the know with everything going on there. Hoping Jerry lets me on the bus this year. You want free videos from Combine for the Cowboys? Subscribe right now. The final Inside the Star trade idea Here's two names, one of which you've heard of. Sean McEwen, the tight end, gets to go pair up with Kellen Moore in Los Angeles. And Otito Obonia, the defensive tackle out of UCLA, the teammate of Osa Odigizua, comes to Dallas. Uh, McEwen is a backup tight end. There's not a ton of value there. This is a little bit like the... Jihad Ward, Ryan Switzer trade from a few years ago where they just kind of swap back-end pieces. Obonia would fill that nose guard role. This was a, uh, 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 I, I'm looking at my draft notes here. He was a, a UCLA record and under 20 shot put champion uh, in, in college and in high school. Like I wrote, I think he's a better shot putter than he is football player, which is a good thing, by the way, because he's an awesome shot putter. I had a fifth round grade on him, exactly where I ended up going. Gives you a nose guard option. Did not produce much for the Chargers this past year. You're swapping backup pieces uh, when it's all said and done. So of those three trade ideas, the third one, which I doubt many will put in, second or the first one, I think most people are going to vote for the second one. Which was your favorite trade idea? Let me know before I break down the one that you're not allowed to pick as your favorite trade idea. Let's talk B. John Robinson trade. So Bleacher Report was doing a dream trade for each of them. Like, ooh, I'm excited to see what they do. And they put trading up in the NFL draft for B. John Robinson, the text. Right, here's what they argue. Robinson isn't likely to fall all the way to Dallas at 27th overall. If he starts to slide toward the middle of round one, which he will, the Cowboys might be able to go up and get him for a few day two selections. The Detroit Lions set number 22, 34, and 66 last year for the number 12 and number 46 overall pick. Now, that's not going to work as a trade package because you don't have those picks. Like That's not how – that's a bad example, frankly. But if you want to get up to a similar range, number 15 overall, the literal middle of round one, it would almost perfect trade value numbers here. Cost you your first round pick – and your second round pick. To go to 15, I'll take a cornerback and Joy Porter Jr. or Witherspoon, but to go get B. John Robinson. Would you do that? So go vote, because I'm, I'm, I'm about to, to pop off here myself. Would you do that? D for deal, P for pass, vote in the comment section. I don't like always being mean here, but this is stupid. I hate this idea with a passion. It's one thing if you want to draft Bijan at the back end of round one. He's an awesome football player. I think he's going to be a very, very, very good, if not great, running back in the NFL. But I'm trading my first and second overall pick when I've got, and I'm going to have, needs at other, more impactful, more valuable spots long-term than running back. I'm not giving up my draft for Bijan Robinson. 
I, I refuse. That's a terrible idea. No. Have dream trade idea? Absolutely not. That's a nightmare trade idea. I If the Cowboys trade a first and second to go get B. John Robinson, I'm going to be in shambles on it. We might just delete the whole damn channel. 